Good morning. Swim time. Okay. <laughs> Let's go swim, baby. He's all fired up. All right. Hi, everybody. John Meadows here. And today we're going to do a day in the life. I'm waking up. It's early. We're about ready to go to swim practice. So, no, my cameraman's not here. So, Alexander and I are going to try to trade off running the camera. We'll see how it looks. You can figure out who's running the camera now. But anyways, let's get the day started. Right now, we're headed off to swim practice for Jonathan and Alexander. All right, so I'm going to show you all the food. I'm not going to put up the grams of protein and carbs, all the macros or calories. I want you to figure it out because I have no idea. I honestly don't track any of that stuff. So in the comments, I want you to tell me how many calories I'm eating, what the macros are. That would be really cool. So let's figure it out together. All right, so they're warming up. Alexander Johnson's in front of him. They just got here, just jumped in the pool. So we did swimming, swim team this year. Um, I wanted him to do it uh, for conditioning. I love uh, the fact that my kids can swim. You know, you hear about kids drowning and certainly want my kids to be able to swim. But last year, uh, they had a break after soccer going into football where they didn't really do anything. They got really out of shape. So I said, I'm not gonna let that happen again. Soccer got canceled, but swim team here uh, is on. So they've been swimming this year. There goes Jonathan. Here comes Alexander. All right, so I mentioned in the supplement video last week, all those supplements I take, some of them were for heart health, some of them were for other reasons, but I put those in a little, little mini bowl like this, and I take these every morning. So basically what I do is this. Simple as that. So I take my supplements early in the day, and then... Um, I get breakfast ready. Breakfast can be, today we're gonna to do oatmeal. Good morning, friends. Hello. This is a few of my friends here. This is a big Hi, little buddy. Hi. <laughs> this is the him. lady who made the honey for us. Yes. Remember that video? Maple syrup. Or, we haven't used that. Maple syrup, I mean. I'm still waking no, up. No, honey and maple syrup. Oh, everything. All right, practice has started. There's our friend, Fia. <laughs> She's a really, really fast. She's an expert. There comes Jonathan. Just working on her legs right now. And there's Alexander. So generally what I do is half a, half a cup of oats. I used to be able to have a cup of oats, but for some reason it upsets my stomach now, probably from all the fiber. But I'm good with half a cup, a little bit more than a half a cup. So I'm gonna do the good old fashioned microwave today. So I'm gonna put some water in here and I'm gonna microwave it. Here's my oatmeal. So what I like to put on my oatmeal is about a cup of blueberries, a cup of blueberries there. And I put in some flax and chia blend here. Gives it a little bit of a crunchy texture, a little bit. So I'll put in a couple, a couple tablespoons. I mix it all up. I love blueberries. They're good for your brain. And at my age, I need all the help I can get with my brain power. And then <clears throat> you met Brooke this morning. She was at the swimming pool and she was the one that makes our maple syrup and honey. I like to sometimes put raw honey on here. So I have I'm going to get another spoon. Okay, Alexander made the honey if you don't hear him in the background. All right, so the honey looks like that. And it's really tasty. Honey is really good. Um, you can actually put it on wounds if you have wounds. But anyways, so the honey has digestive enzymes in it. It's really good for you. So... That's going to be my breakfast. Now, this is what I have most of the time. Sometimes I have something a little different. Sometimes I have my rice and grinds. This is a cream of rice cereal that's in all different flavors. And here recently, I've been trying these Fit Butters. This is a s'mores one. 
So if I wasn't going to have this, I'd probably have the rice and grinds with a fit butter flavor. Either one of those are really good. In terms of protein, I generally use. So for protein, I will just put uh, my protein powder scoop right in here. You can do that with um, the oatmeal or the rice and grinds, either one. I'm not putting it in here today because I'm just not real hungry. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, that's the protein I use because I know you're probably thinking, what about the protein? So this will be breakfast. This is how we'll start the day food-wise. Now we moved on to freestyle. That's Jonathan. That's Alexander. Hola. Hola. Are you getting tired yet? Yes. No, you're supposed to say no, Dad. I'm a machine. <laughs> I'm a Terminator. Good, I'm guessing Alexander is going to do go. backstroke. Jonathan, I don't know. Alexander, what stroke are you going to do, Alexander? What? What stroke are you going to do? Backstroke? Oh, I was wrong. I thought you were going to do backstroke. That's what I forgot to mention. Um, I just love swimming. I think it's great. Great exercise. Great activity. Great for your lung capacity. Great for your endurance. Everything. I just love swimming. I didn't mention that earlier, but it's definitely noteworthy. We're doing it to get in shape, but I just think it's an awesome exercise love swimming all right well that's the end of swim practice now i have to head to a business meeting i'm meeting with a company who wants to do marketing i think for mountain dog diet not for granted we already have a marketing company so uh we'll see how that goes i generally am very comfortable and happy with how mountain dog is is run um, so we'll see, but that's the end of swim practice. My kids aren't the best swimmers out there. It's their first year, but they're working hard. And my requirement as a parent is effort. If they're winning, great. If they're not winning, that's okay as long as they're working hard. And um, they were working really hard today. So anyways, I'm going to head into this business meeting and we've got some other stuff we're doing today. All right, so we're getting ready for lunch. I don't eat the same thing every meal. Um, Today we're gonna to have a chicken quesadilla. This is a Mary specialty that makes it real easy to get down chicken. If you're somebody that has a really hard time getting down five, seven, eight, ten 10 ounces of chicken, quesadillas are the way to go. So we're loading up the quesadillas with chicken. As you can see, we put some shredded cheese on there. Normally this works out to about eh, four or five ounces of chicken. So we're making that right now. But what <clears throat> some other options I like, I like good old rice and beans. For one, black beans, black eyed peas are probably my two favorites with rice. This is jasmine rice. We'll cook it here in the uh, Instant Pot. It's actually a good vegetarian meal too. Rice and beans combine to make a complete protein. One of them's high in lysine and low in methionine and the other one's the opposite. So anyways, they combine to make a good protein. If you want more grams of protein, then you could actually, you could actually just drink some of my essential aminos. My aminos are actually uh, fermented vegan aminos, so they're vegan friendly. So if, if you're concerned, you're not getting enough leucine or whatever, you can have a scoop of this and drink it over some ice. Now, sometimes we don't want to cook, period. So then we might have a clean eats meal. Uh, this is the food service company that I've worked with for a long time now. And they have some unbelievable meals. The menu is changing all the time. But... Um, we might just opt to use a clean eats meal as well. So, but again, today we're cooking up chicken quesadillas. So for the quesadillas, I use these carb balance tortillas. Um, I'm not really trying to keep my carbs low. I actually just like these. I started eating these, eating these when I was trying to keep my carbs low and I just like them. And then the other thing we're gonna put on here is some guacamole. So, Guacamole, avocado, uh, this is also excellent. Nice, healthy fat, good for your heart. We're gonna put that on the quesadilla as well. All right, I got two of my three quesadillas here. I don't know that I'll be able to eat three. Let's start with two, but I like to dip it in the avocado. And it's good to go. So today is a Wednesday and I don't typically train on Wednesdays. Uh, I train hard on Mondays and Tuesdays, but I feel like two days hard. Nowadays, I like to have a day off. So again, today's Wednesday. This, so this 
this will be a one, two, three o'clock meal. If I go to the gym or whether I don't go to the gym, I still eat this at roughly the same time. So anyways, today is actually an off day. What are you eating? Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Meadows, and today I am going to be bleach dyeing some shirts that just came back from the printer. They are grain train shirts. I'm going to be doing five smalls. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll just grab these, and we'll grab my mask, and let's go. Oh no, so we'll fade a little bit, but it will probably turn out to be an orangish where the red is, it will become orangish, and it will look really cool. So let's put it on a hanger, just like that. Now we're just going to go put it over here. Now we'll do another one. All right, so I'm now on a business call with my granite partners talking about supplements, but I ate all my quesadilla, all three pieces. So this is my Wednesday call where um, we talk about new supplements we're formulating or any issues we have, anything like that. They're asking for me right now. They're asking about a beginner stack. They were doing, that was all. Um, so for a beginner stack, uh, golly, it'd be something real simple. It'd be like protein and aminos, uh, from my perspective, for somebody that's just starting. I mean, I think it would be really simple. Let's see if they tell me if I'm crazy. So you wouldn't have a recovery with for them? Um, recovery to me Instead is... Well, the reason why I said aminos is because even though recovery is the thing I like the most, it's for people who are training like really hard and a lot of beginners, like my advice to them in particular is to not necessarily kill yourself. It's just to find the right exercises, learn proper form and things like that. So I think aminos are a nice add to their intro workout. But then once they kind of start ramping it up, that's when I feel like recovery becomes a, a more beneficial for them. So that, that's why I was saying that. So we just got a box of Clean Eats in. I was thinking we should just open it up here. So, wow, that's a lot. We got some Chipotle chicken bowls. Um, more Chipotle chicken bowls. Um, uh, some buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Whoa, what does that look like? That looks good. And we got some Salisbury meatballs. Never heard of that. That sounds good, though. A chicken kebab bowl is what this is. So that's just some of the meals that came in here. There might be more. I'm not sure. Um... A lot. I do. I practice it a lot. I can tell. <laughs> so what? What have you been working on recently? Because I've been doing. I've I've been trying. I've been learning a lot of Yo-Yo Joe stuff. And then like, um, uh, just I've made. Here. Yeah, so, not that. Right. Yeah, I'm in the wrist. I'm, I've, I've already done the other rejection. So yeah, I'm to that. I'm to that. So it's like, okay. except I'm still not the best at the beginning part that, like, pop it up. But I feel like my yo-yo doesn't spin that long. 
It like dies. Is Yeah. So when you're learning something new, especially because with this trick, there's so many strings involved, right? The yo-yo is like on the string for a very large portion of the trick. Yeah. So what's happening is your string is going to rub against the side of the yo-yo throughout a longer duration of the trick. So then that's going to slow down the spin more. It's like how grinds work and stuff. It's, it's like it's it's kind of like it's doing a constant, but not as much grind. It's like doing that. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the little stuff with Alexander there. I was actually working, doing client emails, and now I'm here to get a haircut. So I'll be right back. did it. It was successful. All the hairs have been cut. Whew, man, it's so hard to breathe with those things. All right, so we're at the car wash. We're getting the fancy one, $18. We're going to review Moo Moo Car Wash today. Make sure all the car windows are up. Here we go, it's just like we're at the amusement park. We'll be riding our roller coaster. Clean. Isn't this fun? This is like so cool. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. Look at all the alarms going off. <laughs> it thinks we're about to get in a wreck. Look at the different colors. It's like a rainbow. And now we're going through the underbody to spray the bottom. Spot free rinse. Super tire shine. Now this stuff does make your tires super shiny. You'll see. And super turbo dry. All right, now we have to do our inspection and we get a free vacuum, which I would expect with an $18 car wash. Tire's looking pretty good. Here, I'm gonna get out the you wanna do that side? Okay. I'll do this side, Alexander's gonna do the other side. Pretty good, so we checked the car out. I didn't find too much dirt on the car. The, sh the wheels could have been a little shinier, but overall pretty good. The nice thing about this place is you can get a membership, start it and stop it. It's $32 a month, so if you get the really nice car wash, it's $18, so if you just go twice a month, it pays for it. So I think I'm gonna sign up for it um, and then when the cold weather hits and when we don't generally drive this car, then we'll just stop the membership. So pretty nice, easy, convenient job in and out in five minutes. So I'll give them, I'll give Moo Moo Car Wash a thumbs up. All right, so now it is dinner time. This is meal three. Usually we eat dinner around 6.30. This is salmon. We did add a few calories. It is crusted there, as you can see. Uh, it's really, really good wild salmon though. And we also made cod over here. Cod, I've actually always liked, even from my competitive days when I lived on it. So Mary put some Morton's seasoning salt on there, some lemon, some garlic powder. So what we're gonna have today is cod. Now, typically salmon we might do uh, once or twice a week, um, but normally it's cod. Today we're gonna have cod. 
but while we were while we were uh, cooking up the cob, we figured Mary's efficient, so she just went ahead and cooked salmon too for tomorrow. All right, it's dinner time. I've got the cod, two pieces of sourdough toast. I've got some veggies here. Uh, we've got about five ounces of fish here. So this is dinner, all right. So I do have snacks during the day too, in addition to the three meals. This is probably my favorite one. I have this every single day. It's um, really good sauerkraut. This one has bell pepper, jalapeno, and chilies. It's almost gone, as you can see. Um, this company is really good too, Cleveland. They're here, they're here locally. But I like to have that. Obviously, it's got probiotics in it, which are very good for your uh, stomach. Then I like to have a bowl of cereal, usually before I go to bed. This is what I have now. It changes but this just happens to be what I'm eating right now. I usually have this and a cup or two of almond milk. Usually throw a Splenda on there, give it a little sweetener. And then every once in a while, I'll have like a snack, a little bag of M&Ms or something. But generally, this is what I eat. Uh, on the weekend, I do have um, a meal with red meat. I try to get grass-fed organic meat if I can. Um, uh, what else? So the chicken meal today, I just want to say one more thing. So the chicken meal today, and now we're having fish. Sometimes there's a flip-flop. Sometimes it's more fish earlier in the day, and it's more chicken later in the day. And then sometimes, I would say my other dinner that is the most popular for, for me right now is turkey burgers. So Mary makes these 99% lean turkey burgers that I also put avocado on, and I eat them on whole wheat bread. So usually the turkey burger or the fish is what I would have for dinner and usually some kind of chicken variation. And again, as I mentioned earlier, if we're not, if we don't want to fix something to eat, we just go to our clean eats menu and see what we have here in the house from clean eats. So that's it. That's um, a lot of what we did today. Thanks for stopping by and watching and we'll see you next